Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. You're manifesting something. Um, the three of wands, I always say, it's like my vision board card. Like you're, um, you're, you're starting to put some type of project in place. Some of you, you want to launch a new project, a new career. Um, there's a new, you know, opportunity that you, you may want to pursue or you want to make, you may want to offer an opportunity to someone or whatever the case is. But the three of wands means that your ships are coming in. There's growth, there's expansion. Um, that oftentimes requires you to think outside of the box. You have the two of pentacles underneath that. So maybe you have been um, juggling, you know, trying to figure out what you want to do, who you want to be with, what job do you want to take? Do you want to travel? You know, kind of being in two minds about things, but you have the king of swords here. So this is saying that right now you're about to really, really um, take charge in your life and make a decision. The king of swords, whether you are male or female, um, is you you making a head over heart decision, but it's not like you are ignoring your heart or your emotions. It's just you're becoming more rational, more objective, more logical in your thinking because the truth is, is that you're going to have to utilize this sword of your own mental truth and clarity to get out of this, this energy of constantly juggling. You have here the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So the Knight of Wands in the reverse is saying that when it comes to people being irrational around you, or even when it comes to you having issues with um, maybe not taking charge, having any kind of insecurities, any doubts, fears, or whatever, it's time to change that. The chariot is here. Yeah, this is moving forward. The Ten of Wands dropping all of your burdens. The strength card, again, 2024, year of the number eight year of the dragon, it's like you have to have the strength and the courage at this point to really stand up for yourself and break out of this cycle of having like conflict, chaos, and drama. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here, the Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. This is amazing. Yeah, it's like you're finally about to have a lot of new things that are going to come in for you that's going to allow you to be the Queen of Cups, whether you're male or female. It's like you're going to be the Queen of Cups, meaning you're going to be able to rest in being nurturing and back in your heart space. But before you get there right now, you're going to have to be the king of swords. You're going to have to have the mental power to take charge of things in your life and say, no more am I going to allow these burdens to weigh me down. And I think everyone collectively is in that energy. It's normal. It's natural. It's the new year. But this is something that you really need to stick to throughout the entire year because the five of swords is here. It's like a lot of people have been trying to one up you. You've been disappointed, feeling defeated. And for sure, it's two of swords in the reverse here. Um, it's just time for you to come out of this stuck, stagnant energy of being at the crossroads. For you to go towards the six of wands, having victory, success, rewards, recognition. Six of wands is a person that's very confident. Okay, you're being recognized. The seven of wands, once again, though, it's all about you standing up for yourself because a lot of you literally have escaped death, okay? Um, like that for some physical death, and it has put you in a position now to go through a major spiritual transformation. Wow. And this seven of wands putting putting your sword up, and actually, I'm, I'm hearing it's like some of you, you can't be afraid of death, you know, and a lot of you, it's not something that's going to happen to you, but the spiritual death, the transformation, because what comes is the page of pentacles, the four of wands and the world. You get to show the world that you are able to celebrate and be celebrated. Okay. This is you showing yourself and the world that you are now in, in union with yourself. For some of you, you have peace and balance and harmony coming to your home life, to your relationships with your friends and your family. But the world is here. There's a cycle in your life that is finally just complete. There's a lot here to um, to celebrate. The Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Be mindful of who you're giving and receiving, who you're giving to and who you're receiving things from. There's a lot of generosity here, but you have people who are going to be watching you closely. OK, a lot of people are going to continue to try to watch you, stalk you, spy on you and see what exactly is going on. The page of swords, the hermit and the three of swords here. You still are going to have people around you who are trying to be clever about the fact that they have malicious intentions for you. And you need to be mindful of that to clear those energies away quickly, especially some of these past energies. 
Okay, the Six of Cups is here with the Empress. Yeah, it's like things that people who you used to be open to nurturing and providing them comfort because of history or whatever. It's like now as the Empress, you have to be willing to reject things that don't make you happy. The Nine of Cups is in the reverse. I didn't even pull do a spread, but that's just that's the message. Um I think I am gonna start trying to do um go back to doing certain spreads. I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull an eight cards since it's the year of the number eight. I'll pull eight cards, we'll clarify those, and that'll be the reading. I have a spread that I used to always do. I love that spread. It's just my own little personal spread. I may start right now, but let's see how the eight cards work. We have the two of pentacles, the three of wands, the death card, and the seven of wands. So again, juggling. There's been some kind of imbalance or instability, meaning that you need to find balance to have more peace and harmony in your life. But there could be a situation where you need to be a little bit flexible as well with the three of wands here. So right away, I'm saying something is still in balance. You're still going to have a period of juggling, okay? But there is an ending or something that's coming in. And it's going to really force you to stand up for yourself. Or somebody is going to try to end something for you. Whatever is coming in, there is still somebody is still trying to send this death energy to you. And let me just say this. And I don't mean to ramble too much, but um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. It's I can, I can say what I want to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to stop being so, like just apologizing for doing what I want to do. If I want to talk, that's what I'm gonna do. This is what I have to say. A lot of people have been brainwashed and conditioned to think, like I said before, 12 years of slave, that there's something wrong with your shadow. The, 2023 was the year of the number seven, which is a chariot. And you see literally on the card, you have the black horse and the white horse. If you see here on the death card, you have this white horse with this, this, this black person on it, like the angel of death. What a lot of people need to understand now about your shadow, because everybody has to come face to face with their own shadow. You don't have to run from your shadow. The reason why the enemy has such a huge advantage on most people is because most people who who scream love and light, love and light, love and light, they want they they still run from their shadow. Everybody talks about, well, I'm going to heal my shadow, but let me tell you, your shadow never goes anywhere. Your shadow is forever with you, and I think that a lot of us, myself included, we are afraid to actually confront our own shadow because let's be honest, when you see all of this love and light, the ext the the opposite is very is is the extreme, which is darkness. A person who can be very, 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 very loving, if pushed, can become very, 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 very hateful, vengeful, vindictive, okay? Everything has a light side and a dark side. A lot of people have been repressing their shadow to the point that you're not actually embracing it and you're not able to get your enemies off your back. Your enemy is entering your life through your shadow, you met a lot of your enemies when you were in your, your shadow self, right? When you were unawakened, you hadn't evolved, you hadn't grown, you hadn't healed. That's when you met a lot of these demons and, and, and agents of the devil in your life. That period of your life has scared you so bad and you're so afraid to confront that version of yourself that you're not actually realizing that now you've healed that version of yourself, but that that shadow is still there, and your shadow can actually help you. Because as some, it, it's what I'm seeing now is sort of like um, if a person had you on watch, because the the people are doing you know spiritual crimes, they're they're doing it so that you can't see it. It's like if you're always if they say hey I need you to guard that post, but you always want to only go to the post where there is light. 
your enemy knows that there is a post that's dark that you're a bit afraid of. They're always going to go to that post to, to gain entry to you. Right? When people know that you're not armed and equipped to do things, they take advantage of you. And this is not saying like, oh, you need to go and do something crazy. What I'm saying though is, it's just like with any person who has been bullied. Eventually, you're going to have to meet that bully. And that means you can't be afraid of yourself. A lot of people, they run away from a bully, not just because they're afraid of the bully, but they're also afraid of what they may do. Sometimes, it, it, to be honest, for people to know that they need to stop playing with you, look at that, cut into that. You literally see the chariot and the ten of swords. So at, at some point, you're going to have to lay your this, this bully in your life, this spiritual entity, this demonic, whatever it is, you're going to have to let it know that you're not the person for them to constantly attack. Okay? There's some kind of betrayal or backstabbing energy or something here. It's still causing you to juggle. And I feel like what Spirit is saying is that the next time this comes in, Three of Wands, you need to make sure that you're on your chariot and you can't only be in the light. You're going to have to be able to, to tap into your own shadow to let people know, listen, you're, you're not going to keep bringing this death energy to me. You're not going to keep trying to ruin everything that I've worked so hard to have in my life. I'm not going to allow you to do that. So if you know that they're coming through the back door, you got to stop being afraid to go to the back door because there's no light. You're going to have to meet them at the back door. Whatever the back door, what that looks like in your life. But a lot of people, when they cannot hurt you in the physical, they go in the spirit. A lot of people are afraid to go into the spirit, the spiritual realm. But that's where the crimes are being committed. In the spiritual realm. They know, they're not going to come to your house. But they're going to keep on taunting and torturing you in the spirit. You cannot be afraid of what's on the other side, which some may say is darkness. Hope that makes sense. Death, Knight of Cups. For, somebody, for some of you, it's like there's a person coming in. They bring death with them. For some of you... You have a, a romantic offer or something coming in, um, a new gift, something that's emotionally fulfilling. And this energy, this entity that has been in your life, it, it, it keeps showing up to put a death to it. Whatever it is, you're going you're gonna to have to be the one out to put a, to, an ending to it. Now, I said I want eight cards. And look at all these cards that just fell out. One, two, three, four, five. But it's a message. The bottom of the deck now is the Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're aiming for, the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you, though, you're going to have to do something. For some of you, Nine of Cups, it, it's, it's not going to make you happy. But it's necessary. Because somebody, for a lot of you, you have a person from your past that is constantly stalking, watching you, and harassing you. The Empress is here. Somebody is watching you be victorious and successful. They see you going towards this new um, life, this new connection. They see you exploring your options. They see that you're beautiful, you're ambitious. The Seven of Cups is here. You having all of these options to go towards a life full of possibility, um, abundance, happiness, wish fulfillment, like literally the Seven of Cups of life that you've been dreaming of and fantasizing about, the Ten of Cups is here. But somebody is steady trying to one-up you and, and block you in some kind of way. You're going to have to meet this person in the spirit and let them know you're not doing this anymore. Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Somebody is unhappy because you have the Ten of Pentacles coming. Somebody feels like you do not deserve to have um, prosperity. You don't deserve success. Somebody does not want to see you have generational wealth. And therefore, this person is very clever in how they watch and monitor you. This person, again, the page of swords and the hermit. This person has researched, developed, they learned a way to stalk you and to monitor you. And this is a person from your past. They've been doing this to you for a very long time because you are the empress. Now, this seven of wands here, again, could be something being blocked. Could be um, protection, but it's like the seven of wands. You are going to really have, I feel like this is saying you need to stand up for yourself. 
judgment and the emperor. You need to call judgment on the situation here with the emperor. You could be a, a, a man or woman, but this emperor is that somebody's going to have to call judgment to say, you're going to have to stand up and protect your foundation. You know, I don't, I don't know why this keeps coming up, but I, I started this reading thinking about the reading I did in the past 12 years of slave. And I believe that's actually a movie, but this is something, and it's, I'm not here to trigger anybody, but, you know, slavery is a part of history, obviously. But it's sort of like what, I, the, what I'm seeing right now. It's like a lot of people, you've, you've run, like being a runaway slave, you finally got into a place of freedom. You even have your freedom papers and somebody is still trying to come in being intrusive. And they think that because you were once a slave, even with your papers, that you're still so poor that you 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 don't you can't do anything. But what they don't realize is, and this is what you have to understand, you need to invest in having your shotgun so that when these people come hunting again and they come to what even if it's just a shack that you have, all trespassers must be shot. You're free. So why are people still haunting you down? And you're going to always have people that are going to keep haunting. And they don't understand that they are under the impression that you don't have anything because of your past, because of what they, they, how they think you still are based on how they saw you in the past. Maybe you were naive, you were gullible, you were people pleaser, whatever. These people don't understand. You're not that same person. It's the year of the dragon. You, you, you're activating something within yourself that is new to you and it's new to them. But see, if they keep on trying to roll up on you like this, when it comes to this Ten of Pentacles, when you are the generational curse breaker, the legacy builder, when you're the one that's responsible for creating generational wealth for your own family, the judgment and the emperor here with the seven ones, this is when you have to make the decision. To call on your own power and authority to say no more. Because the Six of Swords, you absolutely have to move on. The moon is here. Somebody here wants you to stay in an illusion of the, with the Four of Pentacles where they can try to keep you held back. This is all about an illusion here. Some of you, you know... <clears throat> If there's any kind of spell work or something like that, like somebody here, they keep trying to put you in this 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 um, illusion, this parallel universe, and they're they're stalking you, they're watching you, they're spying on you, they're doing the divination spot, they're doing all of these different things to keep a to, to keep watch on you. Somebody here, it's like they they think that they're your master. They're gonna just watch you. <coughs> I don't, stuff like this is just like, <laughs> we all believe the same. And one thing in life, like the judgment card, which is a card of, of something being final and absolute, death is guaranteed for everybody. And it's, it's crazy because a lot of people, they honestly think that they can avoid death and endings. And I feel like a lot of people in the collective now, and I said this also a few weeks ago, and this goes back again to even understanding your shadow. Some people, you're meant to be an, a, a, a spiritual assassin. A lot of people, when you hear a person is an assassin, it's like, oh my goodness, that's so bad, that's so bad. But it's just like people who are in the Marines or the military, it's either they fall down or, or you fall down. So who's it going to be? Like, I'm, I'm just keeping it real today. When you are here to honor and protect yourself, your family, your friends, your, lo your land, the enemy, if they keep trespassing, are you going to just let them take everything from you? Everybody's, oh, an assassin is so bad or to do this or to do that is so bad. That, that's to brainwash you into believing you can't do anything. And some people even use religion to do that. 
You don't want to protect yourself. Don't defend yourself. While they sit there and, and like I said, and they go in the spiritual realm to, to assassinate people and do all these crimes. Ten of Pentacles. You're inheriting a lot of abundance and success that your enemy has stolen from you. Whoever or whatever that may look like for you, whether it's in the job, somebody has been withholding a promotion from you or, you know, in your family, there is an inheritance or a property or something that has been withheld from you. This is the year where you're going to have to stand up and, and, and do the things that make you uncomfortable. To go and get something because the nine of cups is in the reverse. I just feel that whatever this ten of pentacles is, you have people around you, a person, or even for some a group. It could be friends, family, it could be strangers. People do not feel like you deserve what you're getting. The page of swords, they're watching you. They're competing with you. They're finding new ways to watch you, stalk you, and monitor you. They don't want you to have some type of success or to accomplish something. And what they do is, like I said, they watch to see every single time you have something new coming, they want to sabotage it. They want to steal it. They want to block it. They want to delay it. But as long as you are afraid to confront this person, this energy, this entity, group, corporation, organization, or whatever, they're just going to keep stealing from you. Seven of Wands, Judgment, and the Emperor. This could be a divine masculine, or like I said, this could be a woman, but it's like tapping into the masculine energy understanding that in order for you to travel, to move beyond all previous setbacks and go towards what is wish fulfillment for you, you are going to have to recognize this illusion here. I feel like I'm talking to somebody also right now who um, may be new to spirituality even. Somebody here has even been blinded by religion in some way. And there's nothing wrong at all with being a believer. But don't get so caught up in doctrine that you sit there and you let somebody come in and, and, and teach you to suppress your own inner truth. Mm-hmm. And somebody has been afraid of, of being judged for being a way that is, is, is making them look to be a rebel or a non-conformist. Look at that. The tower in the reverse and the seven of cups. The tower is like something here, some type of destruction is going to happen. No matter what, what anybody does, like this is something that's unavoidable. The Seven of Cups. And somebody's overthinking about this. The Three of Cups. Yeah. See, this could be you or somebody else. For some of you, you're going to have to stop overthinking about the fact that you're no longer going to be a part of this group, this community, friends, family, or whatever. You've been overthinking this situation because you know that you're being watched. You know your money's being watched. You know whatever this is. You know a, a platform. You're being watched, stalked, and monitored in the physical and in the spiritual, but somebody here has still been afraid to completely detach themselves from a person because they're still seeking approval. I'm definitely picking up right now on specifically a masculine who is a part of, I'm really picking up like a religious community or group. This person is coming into some kind of awareness and is still concerned about what their friends or their family or whomever is going to think, but this person is actually healing. The four of swords and the star. This person is healing. And oh my goodness, look at that. What I say? The hierophant in the reverse. This is somebody getting onto their spiritual path. It's time to take, take a step back and see that in order to heal, 
and to go towards the life that you really want for yourself to have the Ten of Pentacles, that you're going to have stop to allow yourself to be led by people who are actually very piss poor leaders and these different false pro prophets and teachers. Somebody here is about to finally realize that they're constantly experiencing a lot of suffering and failure and disappointment in their life because they've been misled, they've been misguided. It's something in you or whoever this person is, if it's not you that I'm channeling, somebody is naturally a free-spirited individual and they are waiting for their ships to come in and their dreams to come true. But that means that they have to separate themselves from some type of conditioning, a group, family, friends. You know, we've all been there, so even starting a spiritual journey, especially a lot of people who became spiritual after being very religious. And there's nothing wrong with being religious and spirit. A lot of people through spirituality, that they get much closer to God. It's having a personal relationship, but somebody here has been taught the, the importance of knowing God, perhaps knowing the word, but not understanding the relationship, not making like allowing the word to, to really come to life for them and speak to them. Instead, somebody is, is, is reading the word, getting the word from somebody else and not fully interpreting it for themselves. That's, that's if, if you resonate with the with the religious thing that I'm picking up on. Even those who are in the sp spiritual, you know, a lot of people don't get into spell work. But if you feel that you need to explore something to learn how to protect yourself, then you should. Because any community that you're in, whether it's a spiritual community or a religious community, there's always going to be light. There's always going to be dark. You're always going to need protection in anything. It's just like if you're protecting, whether you live in, you're sleeping in your car, you live in a hotel, you live in an apartment, condo, or a house, there needs to be some kind of protection there because it does not matter your neighborhood, how nice your car is or whatever. Danger can be present anywhere. Heartache, pain, suffering is everywhere. You can't put yourself in, in this, this illusion, this bubble that I'm here so it can't happen. It's a heavy message here about people who have been misguided on purpose, I feel, who are constantly being defeated and disappointed because they're being taught not to protect themselves. Somebody has, has began doing a, a lot of overthinking and being overwhelmed by thoughts because somebody here keeps on getting caught up in this this cycle or this drama of, of making mistakes and not understanding why they're constantly so disappointed. Somebody has been taught to be codependent. And, and I'm just going to put it out. A lot of people, especially with religion, are taught to be very codependent. Like some people who are looking for validation, who are hopeless, they're taught to just just rely on the word, rely on, and they're they're not even applying the word to the point that the religion begins to make a lot of people a, a slave. They're not being taught to actually use their own mind or have a relationship with God to listen to what God is saying beyond them only listening to what somebody is saying at the church service. Some people are like this with their parents. Whatever their parents say is, is the final say. Whatever your spouse says is the final say. This is, People need to think, think for yourself. And then you will experience the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is constantly hoping, wishing, and praying for the for prosperity and abundance and to have real security in their life to manifest something. And I feel like there's a lot of hard work that's going into this, but still nothing is happening. There's a lot of just competition, chaos, conflict, and drama here. And this person is actually meant to be some kind of earth angel. But they're holding on. Or somebody is being held down or held back even by magic.
The Temperance, the Nine of Wands, and the Magician. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody is not protecting themselves, unfortunately. Somebody is not... Um, somebody... <clears throat> Look at that, see? Somebody is being told not to say certain things, not to do certain things. This temperance energy, nine of wands, it's like somebody here is, like their faith is being tested. This is, it's really what this is. Somebody is like a, um, a very powerful manifester, like a natural born leader, a magician for some, even like some kind of witch or, or whatever. Somebody has a, a magical talent and or ability. They're an earth angel. But this person has been taught not to tap into their gifts or something. And due to that, it's like this person is constantly two of swords in the reverse. This person is not choosing to go out and to create and to manifest. You have the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Strength card, the Two of Cups. Wow, Seven of Pentacles, and then the Four of Wands, the World, the Eight of Wands, and then the Devil. Yeah, see, somebody also is being taught not to even go into certain relationships. Somebody has been holding themselves back, even from romantic relationships and partnerships, because of a difference in um, beliefs. Tool of swords. Somebody is is being told or has been taught that to pursue a certain journey, a certain person, place, thing, or situation that there will be there will be poor judgment. But this is a lot of conditioning and manipulation. I'm definitely picking up now where it's like um, there definitely could be if this is a relationship. It's like a union of two souls, and it's a very strong connection with the strength. I mean, literally, you have the Empress, the Ten of Cups, the Strength, the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the World, the Eight of Wands, and then you have the Emperor out here. There is a divine pair out here. No doubt about that. Somebody has possibly come into a connection with a person who is already on their spiritual path and journey. Someone here has a spiritual gift. This other person, it could be this masculine. They have some kind of spiritual gift as well, but they've been taught that they don't need to develop this gift. That they don't need to do certain things. Somebody here has even been taught, oh no, you shouldn't do shadow work. You know, I've seen a lot of people even say like doing shadow work is demonic. This is foolishness. And, and people are teaching somebody this on purpose so that the person won't actually heal the wounds that their friends and family have been using to have this person stuck in a cycle of, of self-sabotage while they spiritually attack this person and probably even try to sacrifice them. So this brainwashing and conditioning is keeping a person stuck and unable to develop themselves, but this person is not going towards any person that can help them to grow and develop also. Or this is even spell work being done where like somebody is, is purposely being kept away from their path. The devil is here. This is nothing but a bunch of oppression. Somebody doesn't want a person to have equal give and take with someone because the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. There's a very toxic, low vibrational person here that is abusing their power with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And it's crazy because my throat is just like really acting up. Because somebody doesn't want someone to see what's actually best for them. Somebody doesn't want a person to have any kind of like perspective. Somebody wants a person to be very prejudiced, biased, unfair. The justice card is here in the reverse, especially when it comes to love. And this person making a connection. I'm telling you, my throat, it's like something that's trying to close my throat up. This card, this lover's card, you have an Af there's an African-American woman here in someone you know of a different race this could be for some of you people are trying to sac get you to sacrifice certain connections and telling you not to take a, a leap of faith because you want another person for some of you it could be um 
something about your connection is frowned upon by the masses. You and someone could have, you know, different race, background, culture. Uh, it could be a same sex, but there is some kind of prejudice or ju or judgment being thrown at you by friends, family, or groups because you and someone that's coming together perhaps are different. Somebody does not want you to have, um, they don't want you to change your perspective or your heart about this. So every time you try to go towards somebody that's different from these agents of the devil around you and your, your friend circle, family, or whatever, they come in and they try to sabotage things or with the hangman cause delays. The fool in the reverse. They don't want you to take this leap of faith. And that, that's just what it is. Somebody just like, literally, this is a group of people. Like I said, it could be friends and family. They don't want you to bring a certain type of person home. They don't want you to do certain things. But the thing about this is, if you don't follow this path, you will not actually inherit whatever this wealth and abundance is. Your, your wealth, your abundance, your foundation, your spiritual inheritance, it is tied to a certain path and a person. And you have people who are brainwashing you and telling you don't go towards that person. So it's like if you're a religious person, somebody's telling you, no, don't go towards that person because, you know, I'll say, they read tarot. And you could be a very spiritual person. Somebody's telling you, don't go to, towards that person that's religious. They're, they're going to they're gonna make you stop reading tarot. It's, it's something like that. Somebody is, is listening to people on the outside tell them, don't go in that direction. It's not going to be good for you. But we saw before the hierophant in the reverse. This is a false prophet, a false leader. Somebody here has been misled by a person. Eight of swords in the reverse. Yeah. But somebody is now finding the strength to see that there's no need for them to be in this illusion that they are trapped and that they should go for what they want. Somebody's going to free themselves from this devil, this oppressive type of thought process or energy or person that has been constantly causing someone to just feel or think that they are trapped. Or that they should feel guilty or regretful if they move in a certain direction. Somebody's definitely trying to make somebody second guess what they do for work or their, their choices in just your choices in life, in love, in, in partnerships. Somebody is trying very hard to make a person think, no, that's not good, but it, it is good. It's the six of wands. Somebody is about to come out of this and gonna have victory and success, and it's like you need to uh, you need to validate yourself. You don't have to have the validation of somebody who is fake and phony. They're just not even living in their own truth. And a lot of people need to know that whether you're in the spiritual community or you're religious or whatever, your how you live should not be based on what somebody else is telling you. Somebody else who probably hasn't even gone within themselves to hermit to do the work. The King of Cups. See, somebody here knows. Somebody is trying to balance their emotions and their logic because they've been lied to, I feel. Or there's a lot of um, energy here of just self-sabotage. And for some of you, especially if this is like a relationship or something that you're doing in your career, if it's something that's different from what you know is going to be accepted by friends, family, or whatever, keep it to yourself. The sun and the ace of wands is here. This new beginning is going to be extremely successful, but it's something, again, seven of wands, you need to keep it to yourself. The seven of swords is learning how it's not just about being backstabbed and portrayed. Sometimes the seven of swords is also about being strategic. Be strategic in your planning 
when it comes to this brand new beginning. Somebody you need, to, there's a person, either you or you're dealing with somebody, stop talking to this group of people who are in your life who are karmic and they're only here to oppress you. Somebody is trying to do something that's going to get them to the promised land that everybody around them is totally against. The high priestess. For a lot of you, this has to do with your you having some kind of spiritual path or journey. The high priestess, the king of swords, and the knight of swords here. This could be a man also who is actually a high priest. Or somebody who is very, very um, tapped in. And they, they're being taught not to pursue their spiritual path or journey. You don't need to open up their door. I just heard you don't need to open up their door, son. So th this could be someone's father. Telling them, don't. even the king of swords, knight of swords, that the king and then the knight, this could be someone's own father telling them, you don't need to, you know, don't, you don't need to do this. A lot of people's parents will tell them stuff that's crazy. You know, and you, you have to just learn to live with it and forgive it and move on because people don't know what they don't know. And this high priestess could be a divine feminine. You could be dealing with a masculine who is still listening a lot to some a person in their life, an, a, a masculine or an elder or whomever that's telling them certain things. But this person is abusing their power. Yeah. The three of swords. This could be this whoever this person is, it could be anybody. For some of you, you're dealing with a person, they have a friend or a family member that's just constantly <clears throat> trying to keep them in a mindset where they, they don't want to pursue their higher self. And that's the reason why this person is always heartbroken, or this is you. It's heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak because you're not, or they are not thinking for themselves. The ace of the page of cups, and it fell right next to the sun. Ace of wands, the sun, and the page of cups. The page, the page of cups can can be um. It's an offer that's innocent. It could be a, a, a the birth of a child. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Well, I do know, but for some of you, there there is something significant here about the birth of a son. Ace of Wands, the Sun, and the Page of Cups. Literally, this procreation, right? It, like it's it's clear. So for some, somebody needs to break some kind of generational curse or pattern that is tied to the relationship that they have with their father and their father's teaching. It's like God is coming in and saying, "You need to change your mindset before you become a parent." Or before you repeat this pattern with your own child. It's specifically a son. <clears throat> yeah. And somebody's father figure could have actually been. Like whether they were present. Or absent. They were not emotionally connecting to this person. And the information that, and the guidance that they've given. They've been abusing their power. This person. They. They. Um. They lead, I hear, I'm here, they lead with an iron fist. Like, this is somebody that it is it's one way or the highway. And this has left somebody feeling out in the cold, not wanting to speak up for themselves, um, being shy, having self-esteem issues and everything. Somebody is going within now and they're working on themselves and they need to realize, hey, if you don't want to repeat this pattern with your own children or be stuck in this illusion, you need to separate yourself from the conditioning of this king of swords in your life. And the king of swords with the three of swords, this could be a narcissist. And it doesn't have to be a narcissist. It could just simply be somebody who, like I said, they have taught somebody not to have emotions. You can't live your life without any emotions or without love. God is love. Somebody has been taught you don't need to love anybody. Don't do this. Don't. It, it's it's a lot of just don't. Don't 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 don't. So somebody is so self controlled that they're literally blocking everything out. Queen of Swords. 
the four of cups yeah see you could be this high priestess if this is a masculine i'm really picking up a masculine going through this you could be the the high priestess that's coming in as the queen of swords telling this person you need to take some time out to detach and figure out why you keep having the same problems and you're probably letting this maybe you need to stop talking to your friend your brother your family whoever because somebody is lying to you and that's always the reason why families they hate the high priestess that comes because you're telling this person the queen of swords is very independent and intelligent so it's like the queen of swords see you can match this king of swords so it's like the queen of swords you can tell somebody i'm i'm, I'm just gonna tell you what i'm getting this high priestess queen of swords can tell this masculine your your mom dad brother sister cousin they're not right what they're doing what they're saying is unfair and it's causing you to be heartbroken it's causing you to keep carrying these burdens. Ten of Wands. What you have been taught is the reason why your heart is continuously being broken. Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. You're telling this person, hey, do you not see that you keep missing opportunities? You're missing opportunities because you are overwhelmed and overburdened with outdated thinking. Eight of Cups. Yep. Somebody's going to finally find the strength though to walk away and seek their own inner truth and realize that, look at this, Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody's past and their childhood has left them feeling very insecure. This person is about to make the decision now, though, to turn their back on this, and they're going to actually become successful because they're going to start exploring their options. They're going to become more ambitious. They're going to make the judgment call in their life to stand up for themselves and be the emperor and move away. Somebody here may literally move away from their family. They may relocate because they're like, I need to go and find and chase my own dreams. But the four of pentacles, this person, has, somebody here has been taught, do not have any type of emotions. It's that whole boys don't cry. And somebody has been sitting around here with so many pent up emotions. They're literally entities are attacking this person because they're so heartbroken. And then and then this is the kind of people that are say, well, don't go to therapy. Don't do shadow work. This person is has, has started opening themselves up to, to demons because of so much pain. And they, they can't see it or recognize it because, again, you don't know what you don't know. Hmm. Well, this is a very powerful breakthrough. For some of you, you could be a divine feminine watching. This could be what's happening with your masculine. They're about to go through um, a, a serious dark night of the soul. Or again, this could be you. It could be you or whomever. It could be you, your friend, family member, whomever. But um, this is a powerful shift that's happening where a lot of people are going to embrace their own inner truth. I just want to see... Um, I want to pull some kind of oracle. I just don't know what to pull. Let's pull these. I don't, I don't even know what these are called. I think this is Sacred Traveler or something. I don't know. Color purple could be a significance to somebody. Somebody is actually royalty or they're meant to create um, a generation. Somebody is meant somebody is meant to have a lot. But until you or this person isolates themselves sometimes in order for you to break generational curses and be the the legacy builder you have to break away from the generation that has cursed you <laughs> make sense reaching your destination it says your light is shining brightly okay journey by moonlight believe in magic See, somebody has been taught not to believe in magic. And then it says here, view from above, get the big picture. 
and then surrendering to the journey, release control. See, somebody has been taught all about everything has to be controlled, rigid. Um, everything has to be done in moderation. Don't explore. Don't 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 look into that. Don't open up Pandora's box. Don't don't open the jar. These are just all the things I'm saying. Somebody has just been taught to suppress, suppress, supp suppress everything. And now it's blocking their ability to manifest or it's blocking your ability to manifest. Journey by moonlight. Like I said, you're, you're not a slave. <laughs> View from above. You're, you're always being guided. Even when you're in the darkness, you're being guided so that you can reach your destination. But you first have to simply just surrender to the journey. It says here, um, fellow traveler support is all around you grounding go deep and explore your own roots and follow your bliss follow go where you are happy whatever connection relationship journey whatever city state country continent that you you go to that nobody should be able to stop you from doing that this is about to upset me because i can feel the force of this energy and how much brainwashing has been here but we've all been there before I think I, I, it's starting to piss me off now because I remember when that was me. <laughs> love, love flows through you and to you and open your heart to joy. Opening to your spiritual power. Yeah, finding sanctuary. Somebody needs to just embrace their spiritual journey. Stop running from it. Stop hiding it. Stop being afraid of what your friends and your family is going to say. If your friends and family have such a problem with who you are and who you are becoming, your authentic if somebody is trying to force you to be fake, they they don't need to be in your life. 